Welcome back, everyone. Here we have Sarasvati in our care. I got her by fusing the Clotho and my Gur. Um, I'm thinking of pulling out another Gur because I do want him to make, in order to make um, Succubus later. And it looks like I can create a Balor with Hell and Mishiguji, so I think I'm gonna do that. It's Aggidine and Titanomachia. So let's give him the Aggidine and Titanomachia. Acid Breath. Madness Needle. I mean, his magic is pretty bad, so there's no reason to give him all these like uh, Mazianga, Elect Pleroma and stuff because he's not going to be using a lot of MP. Like even the Acid Breath is a little too much for him. Um, I guess I can give it to him just in case I want to pass it on to some other demon because there's nothing else I want on him anyway. But yeah, let's go ahead and make him. Then I will perform. Oh. Let us go, son of man. Oops. I just realized my screen is... like that. Okay. Uh, so you didn't actually see any of his abilities. That's fine. And then I have all rain at, like, level 51, so that's gonna be nice. But what I want to do is actually pull out a Gur for 21k. Uh, we'll, we'll see about it. I probably will, but I don't have to do it now. I might run into one later, so I can save money by not pulling him out yet. And let's go ahead and level up their Sarasvati. Alright, so today... We are basically going to back. We have no business here anymore. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna meet you guys back at the Sumigasaki station where we will begin heading towards Pluto the Tormentor. Oh, actually, we might be able to explore some of these other areas here. See if um, there's anything interesting. Just some relics. But I'm not sure if there might be a domain somewhere hidden around here. Nah, doesn't look like it. I had to say this, guys, but it looks like we have some new side quests. So, we have Plazaltiel, the demon that lives below Ikebukuro, has a lot of corn, so I've heard. If you can defeat this demon, we can get our hands on some food, but I need to tell you how to get into Ikebukuro first. I'm across from the item shop under Shinjuku. So let's go ahead and set this, and talk to that guy. Let's see, this guy is looking for... Corpses of Pluto's soldiers, they're made of something like oil, so we can use them. So this is something that I will get done on the way there, probably. Get 10,000 Maka if we complete this transport a cannon. Oh, this is that guy that's been talking in that room, asking for someone to bring a cannon. We want to get our hands on one of the artillery pieces, the JGSDF, used so that we can better defend the city. Okay, the building is still intact. Meet me in the room by the association after you've retrieved one. Okay, so really the only one that I am interested in is this one, the Talazel Tealtol. Whatever. And we just gotta go here. Uh, are you the guy willing to fight Tla Tlazoltiel? Tlazoltiel. Yodel for us. 
Rumor has it that this demon only eats people. She's got all this corn, and she's not even gonna eat it. So it's far better for us to have that corn than for it to go to waste, don't you agree? Well, I'm not hiring you to talk philosophy. I've made it so this terminal will get you to E.K. Bukuro. I'm sorry, but that's all I can do. I'll leave the fighting to a pro like yourself. Alright. I think the good thing about this is that it also unlocks the terminal in Ikebukuro, which means the potential for more treasure and new areas to explore. So, I think this is going to be like another one of those side quest segments where I keep saying next episode we're going to do the main quest and then something's going to show up and ruin that entire thing but it seems like there might not be any more side quests after this so let's get this done quickly go. Blasted Ikebukuro. Alright, let's see what this place looks like what? now that it's destroyed. Probably gonna look exactly the same as all the other places. Alright, let's look around. I'm guessing it's this building right here. Probably. I kind of wish they had more than one um, mission team. And I also don't like the fact that Sometimes the mission theme, it blocks out some really good area music. So I guess it doesn't really matter in the blasted world because aside from the battles, be careful. the area music doesn't seem to be particularly special. Like it's just ambient so far. But uh, it looks like we have her Tiazel whatever right beyond here so let's just go ahead and take her out now while I'm still at full health and everything oh we got domain in here of course of course oh god of course of course we have the cooms here Got a Rook and the Coombs. You're weak to fire, right? No? Then... Of course I'm gonna be poisoned. Completely poisoned. I think I have Posu Moody on someone though, so we should be okay. And luckily enough, the bird has no HP. Yeah, I have it on poor wit. Thank god. And then we'll just use your MP. I am actually running with a pretty soft and squishy party right now, aside from the ghoul. Like, Silky and Sarasvati have no HP whatsoever. They have so much MP though.
And that gives me level 50. Which means I have enough to get the next app thing. Okay, poor wit is done. Wait. What did I answer? He asked me a question. I didn't even realize what... Okay, well, whatever. What should we do, Master? Let's do that, which means I can go over to here. Welcome. I'm gonna go to buy myself a girl. Are you sure? And I'm gonna fuse Silky with the girl. Get me a succubus. Let's see, 66 magic versus a tropos who has about 68 magic. Hmm. 46 strength, 50. A tropos is kind of better in every way, isn't it? Succubus gets Secunda and Energy Drain, whereas a tropos gets. Amion and Tathlam shot. The problem is it uses Kinky. So, yeah, we're going with Succubus. Okay, so we want to give her Null Gun for sure. Let's give her Bufudine. And Miragion. Okay, and then Midairama. And then she gets Null Gun. No fire, no force, uh, attack know-how. I'm thinking we could go with Dekunda or speed lesson. Her strength isn't particularly good, but speed lesson does raise it by 10. And this, I think my Dekunda is pretty much maxed anyway, so let's go with speed lesson, make her a little faster. I could also give her Fog Breath, which is actually... Yeah, I should do that instead. So I don't have to Fog Breath all the time with, um... Then I will perform the fusion. Alright. Night Succubus. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you too. And she has, a, like, 30 more HP than the Silky. But look at her resistances. Just look at that. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun to deal with. Okay, that's the exit. And we have... Oh, okay. Almost kicked my Sarasvati away. We have a Nadja here that I can talk to. Wait, these burrs are repel gun? Okay, they're weak to fire. Uh, you don't have fire. But these birds are weak enough that I could just hit them. And then let's talk to this Nadja. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna cry. I want a life stone. And I want a dispoison. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Dumb kid. actually just yanked my my stuff and ran oh. 
keep going left. This is an actual maze. Okay, there's two of them this time. That a hunter, hey, I have a job for you, Tour. My friend's in some trouble. Well, it looks like we have more than one side quest now. Deceased Nail. Okay, Reaper Hell, I feel like a lot of things are about to go down soon, so I want to get ready and build a boat for the dead. I need Deceased Nails to build my ship, and I'd like you to collect some for me. I'll be waiting underground. Okay. I'm not sure what I have to kill for those nails. Yeah? Uh, what is it? <laughs> Yay, you're an old man. I always wanted to beat up an old dude. Oh no. This is gonna be one of those demons. The troublemakers that just don't do what I want. Okay, you're too old to what? call me that. What? You think I'm old? Oh no, I need to get younger. Exercise, exercise. <laughs> Thank you for staying, Saraswati. Okay. I love pushing humans around, it's so fun. Yeah, I'll push you around. <laughs> what? Then I'll bully the bullies who bully the bullies. <laughs> okay, this kid is impossible. I love pushing humans around. Yeah, well, bullying is for losers. Nuh-uh, in reality, the losers are the ones who get bullied. The world's not fair, is it? Give me something. Give me something and I'll become yours. Sure. Don't you dare run away. Oh! Finally! We got her. No one wants to come because you're alone. Very Naja. And you learn charge. Okay. Wonder if I could use her for special summon, because she's a fairy. Okay, and we get a new ability, Damascus Claw. Okay. Pink. Change charge to Tetraja. No. I don't need any. Burrows. Alright, let's take a look. Notja, you have Concentrate and Charge. Oh. We got Concentrate. Finally. Okay. I'm gonna have to give that to Flynn. Okay, let me check Welcome here. To the cathedral now. I don't think... Yeah, because what I wanted was this King Frost here. It's a Genma that I need. I don't know what that is. We have Alice here, who is around our level. Ooh! Okay. We need a beast and a fairy. A level 28 fairy and a level 31 beast. Which I don't have. Get Alice. Okay, dead end. Keep going. Eventually, I'll find it. This looks a dead end as well. 
Yeah, I have so many spaces and slots for new demons now that now that I'm level 50, I should be able to start recruiting a whole bunch of them. I know the Rook is like 51. Aha! We found it! Let me make a save here. And let's go. I'm detecting a strong demon ahead. There she is. A demon is standing in the back of the room. Are you sure she's standing or is she in a floating toilet? I haven't seen you before, human. Do you have business with me? I kind of hope she's going to say her name. Because she's voiced. He asked the demon whether there is food here. Yes. The room in the back is filled with corn. However, giving it to humans is forbidden. I can't allow you to pass. If you really want it, then you'll have to go through me. Why are you so intent on keeping the corn? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Good. I, Talasso Teotl, will accept any challenger. Talazol Teotl, okay. Thank you for pronouncing your name for me. Talazol Teotl. Yazol Teotl, Mega Me. Uh, let's see if I can fight her without using any of these fog breath things. I know it makes the whole thing a lot less interesting if I do. Okay, so not ice. Let's try fire. Fire is alright. You can heal us up. Not ice, huh? Crap. Okay. I do have attack know-how though, so let's throw some thunder at her. I'm mostly fishing for weakness. Okay, so no weakness. Oh, let's just go with the Nihil Claw. That's a lot of damage. And you can probably just pass here so that I can hit you with another wind. If he keeps hitting me with um, ice, I can. I might even be able to kill her with ice. Wait, she has no HP left. Okay, well that wasn't really. Ah oh, well, you win. I was starting to get tired of the taste of corpses anyway. I've unlocked the room in the back. Do whatever you want with the corn. All right. We didn't even have to kill her. The demon has been defeated. We can get our food supplies now. Thank you. How did you get here? Did I- did I escort him? So... Talasso Teotl has been defeated. Wait. It's this. The goddess Talasso Teotl was sent to this world by the gods to annihilate humans, just like many other demons. Her job was to eat the corpses of the dead and clean impurities from the world. Do you know why she kept all that corn that she would never eat? No. Does she want the people to have it? Yes, that's right. It would seem that you understand. I'm sure she is happy that the one to defeat her was someone like you. She... Talasal Teotl was originally a goddess of the harvest. She wished to return the corn that the humans worked so hard to grow. 
However, the gods that sent her here seek the destruction of the human race and would not allow that. And so, the goddess Talasal Teotl chose to allow herself to be slain for the sake of the people. That is all that I wanted to say. Oh. My job here was to transport the souls that she purified. But that is unnecessary now. Please treasure the memories of those that have died, as well as this gift from the goddess. Well, that was nice. I like that. I kind of wish we had more Burst. like that, so we could get, like, these stories about these demons and why they're here, what they're doing, because each, each demon obviously has a reason for doing what they do. And they're all based on some kind of folklore or mythology or legend. That was really nice. Okay, let's finish exploring this place. Oh, are you here about the job offer? So you'll go collect the nails from the dead for me then? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll ask you to do the job then. I am Reaper Hell. I need you to get the nails of the dead, and I'm going to use them to build my ship, the Nagalfar. We're on the brink of a huge war, so I need to prepare for it. The fresher the nails are, the better the ship will be. Hunt down the walking dead and collect their nails for me. I'm counting on you. I don't know how fresh their nails would be if they were walking dead. But I'll do whatever I can, I guess. Okay. Got another luck incense. Very nice. Alright, that's gonna be it for the Ikebukuro Underground Shelter. Let's look around Ikebukuro, see if there are any other relics or treasures to find before I go back. Yeah, I, I liked that because it was a side quest, but it also gave us some details on this demon, gave us a little bit of world building, basically taught us like you know, some of these demons, they're here not just to kill and eat people, but they also have some kind of moral that they're defending. I thought we got data on these guys. I hope you're prepared. I guess the data they gave us was just the map data and not the ability to actually figure out what these guys are. Poor wit is indispensable for this Pluto arc. Because I'm gonna get poisoned a lot. And it looks like there's nothing actually here. I will aid you. Okay, well, I guess we are done exploring Ikebukuro. Um, I'm gonna start heading back to Kasumi Gasaki, and then next time we'll see if any more side quests show up. Activate. If not, then we'll finally go see Pluto. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.